We have just spent the 2022-2023 cyclone season in Fiji. Bula! Bula! <laughs> Yo! At Malolo Island and the surrounding Mamanuthas area. And so that's obviously the perfect kiting spot, right? Which we haven't kited. When the, um, when, the, when the trades are blowing in, south east, right? Yep. That means you can go upwind, out all over that. It's only, uh, even at high tide, it's only waist deep. And if you bail out, you can stand up. Home base was Musket Cove. And our cyclone escape plan, the Dead Around Mangroves. Undoubtedly, the highlight was the opportunity to be one of the Musket Marauderers, a close-knit boating community based at Musket. And although we didn't terrorise and plunder, we did kind of take over the bay. Baking my birthday cake. Ho, ho, ho. On January 20th, Cyclone Irene, Dion's mum's name, gave us our first taste of Cyclone as the Category 1 Cyclone swung past. It's the fringe of Cyclone Irene. Named after Dion's mum. Our neighbourly neighbourliness is a little close, but anyway. Actual <laughs> waves. <laughs> yeah, he may not have anchored in the best place for a cyclone. Doesn't give much wriggle room. 33 knots. Stuff broke and was fixed. Our alternator bracket broke again. Alternator bracket is broken for the second time this year. Lasted six months. And guess what? We brought a spare alternator bracket with us because the last one also went here where it's been welded at this weak point. Fortunately our boat neighbour had a workshop and welder on board. Thank, Thank you. you! And the squalls and the westerlies, they just kept coming with 30 to 40 knots a regular occurrence. Face. Hey Jake, how do you feel about Sally? 
to Kandavu today as per our plan A. Yeah, good option not to go to Kandavu today. Not a lot of wind, but a shitload of rain, thunder and lightning. That was a close one. That bang was so loud. That hit something. I'm pretty sure that last bang. I haven't seen one of that ever. <laughs> I've never ever, I've never seen a lightning strike or a thunder like that. This is crazy. On February the 12th, Gabriel, a Cattery 3 cyclone, tore through the Pacific and New Zealand took a hiding. Kurt, Kurt's gone. Kurt's in trouble. Oh, f Uh oh. Oh no. Has he got his e engine going? Oh, Maybe. Uh oh, he's dragging. Yeah. He's going between the gap at least. Fuck lucky he knows where the reefs are. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Bobby's there, but she's okay because she's on a mooring boat. Cute. Oh yeah! I wonder if he could pick up the mooring ball like stern first while the anchor sort of slowly lets him go past. That would be nice. Look at that bloody beautiful track. <whistles> please stay like that, please oh, stay like that. Oh poor good! There he is behind us. Far out, Brussels sprout! Good morning! What a great way to wake up with a cyclone! Whew. Although restrictive, it felt like we had the place to ourselves. Namotu Island Sunsets. Namotu Island squalls and sometimes the whole island bar till you're the last one standing. I got a haircut. Hey team. Hey, 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 guys. And we had the bay to play. The humidity, sweat and mould ramped up to a whole new dimension.
less fun. They were a rare double cyclone event decimating Vanuatu within 48 hours of each other. Close enough to Fiji, but not a direct path to hit, both Denarau and Musket closed their mooring fields after Judy passed, giving us one 30 knot squally day to move our boat to a safer spot before Kevin hit. And we thought while staying on a mooring ball with everybody else was quite safe and it didn't look like it was quite safe so we've got to uh, head to dinner out we've got a marina berth there for maybe a night or two see how it goes but we, we were very lucky to nab one of the marina berths at dinner our marina the dinner our mangroves our cyclone plan remained closed to boats <laughs> Although there was some flooding, we never took a direct cyclone hit. And after all that, we really don't ever want to. I will be forever grateful for the friendships made. And Liar's Dice will be brought to the table again.